Hello Scorpio, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be uh, looking at what's going on in your connection at this time with the particular person that you're thinking about or connecting with. And then we're going to look at how you feel about each other. What are you thinking about each other or the connection? So let's see what messages we get for you, Scorpio. Angels, guides. What messages do you have for Scorpio spirit? What messages do you have for Scorpio regarding love? For Scorpio. Let's start with the mutual energies. What's going on between you and this other person? Spirit, tell me about the mutual energies between Scorpio and the person they are thinking about or connecting with. What's going on with them? Well, someone's undecided, a bit blocked, unsure, two of swords. I'm getting that someone's physically like blocked. So maybe you blocked them or they blocked you. That's obviously not for everyone, but I'm, I'm seeing a, a phone that cannot get through. What else? What else for Scorpio? What's going on here? This could also just be that someone's not sure where this connection is going. Yeah, two of pentacles. Someone's uncertain. There's a lot of uncertainty, uncertainty here. A back and forth energy. What do I do? How do I do something? How to approach a problem? What does the other person think about me? Where do we stand? Can I get one more please, Spirit? What's going on in this connection between Scorpio and this other person? Wow, and the Wheel of Fortune. So maybe someone's waiting for something to take place, for an event to take place, for the right timing to take place so that something can happen here. Spirit. Tell me specifically about this Two of Swords and the Two of Pentacles for Scorpio. What do we need to know, Spirit? What do we need to know? This is about the past or about a specific person, a soulmate. But I'm getting more that this is because of the history. It's like almost like a history, memories between you and this other person. Something could have happened in the past that you're still kind of trying to process. Maybe you're wondering if you and this person have a future. Maybe this other person's wondering that about you. I'm getting a lot of like unknowns. So it's it's almost like there's a lack of clarity here about a specific person or specific situation. Maybe you're wondering if they are your soulmate. Maybe you're wondering if this is ever going to happen. If this wheel of fortune is ever going to kind of arrive or help this situation. We have the chariot at the bottom of the deck, Cancer Energy. So yeah, I feel like this is what someone's waiting for, the chariot and the ace of wands. Is this moving forward? Where are we headed? What's ahead for us? In what direction is this connection going? Will we have a new beginning, an exciting, passionate new adventure, ace of wands? You know, someone's not quite sure here. Let's get some energies. Oh, okay, that's definitely the secret moon deck. <laughs> Spirit, can I get some insight into the energies between Scorpio and this other person? What do we need to know, Spirit? What do we need to know about the energies between Scorpio and this other person? Sweet dreams, fantasy dreams, imagination. Your dreams are becoming reality. Okay, someone could be thinking or dreaming about you, Scorpio, or vice versa. I feel like you already, whoever was is thinking about what's ahead, you already have kind of an idea of what you would like to see there. So that cha that chariot that showed up and this uncertainty, it's because you already have something in mind and you're wondering how you're going to get there. What else? Unhealthy attachment. This card keeps coming out. Unhealthy attachments are causing difficulty. So there could be some sort of block or obstacle here. 
in the form of an unhealthy attachment, unhealthy um, environments, or toxic behavior, toxic environments. Um, this could also be unhealthy influences. What else? And time out. Time is of the essence. There's something here with timing because the Wheel of Fortune also came out. Maybe, I don't know. It's like someone's thinking, when will it be my turn? When is it our turn? Coming together is at the bottom of the deck there. It's like you're wondering, when will we have a reunion? When will when will we be able to move forward? I'm like, my... I'm twisting myself there while I talk. So let's look at both of your energies, um, Scorpio. I'm going to ask for your energy first, and then I'll, we'll move on to your person's energy. Feel free to flip these energies if they resonate more for you. Spirit, tell me more about Scorpio. What do we need to know about Scorpio's energy when it comes to this situation or this individual? What do we need to know about Scorpio's energy? The higher font, Taurus energy. I just heard you're not messing around. No games here. Um, you're very serious about this situation or this person. You, I don't think you'd be. Lo you're looking for something casual right now, Scorpio. Maybe um, some of you are thinking about marriage, committing to this person. Could be dealing with a Taurus. Can I get more insight, please? What is, uh, I was going to say it was Taurus. What is Scorpio thinking or feeling when it comes to this person, this connection? Wow, judgment. Yeah, you're not messing around, Scorpio. You're thinking in a, in very serious terms here. You're like, you're, you're like, I just want to focus on what matters. Talk about the conversations that we need to talk about. Um, some of you are wondering if there is a second chance that you could have with this person, if this could be revived. I don't know if you and this person already separated in the past, but when I get judgment with the higher font, sometimes I think that someone wants to go back to a specific um, person and commit to that person. One more. Wow, the devil, Capricorn energy. You got all major arcanas, even at the bottom of the deck with the fool. Freedom. Freedom from restriction. Freedom from obstacles. Some of you are wondering if, you know, I, I feel like I'm speaking to a Scorpio where you and this person are prevented or kept apart. You're prevented from being together or are kept apart from each other because of an obstacle or an issue. There's like someone's um, a bit stuck. Um, or it, it's almost like you want to be free of this issue. Um, you want to be free of whatever's holding you back from this person. Let me know if that's resonating in the comments. But you have a lot of major energy shifts here with all these major arcanas. And the fools at the bottom of the deck. When I see the fool with the devil, I think release. I think freedom. And I think um, no longer being held back. You know, their arms are nice and wide, um, ready to welcome something new in. I think that's what you're hoping for is to get rid of whatever burden is holding you back from a new beginning with your person. And that burden could be anything. That could be uh, unhealthy attachments, addictions, interferences, um, other partners. Tell me more about Scorpio. Spirit, tell me more about Scorpio, please. What do we need to know about Scorpio? Sleeping curse, inaction, silence, dormancy. Yes, something is not, you know, that's not where that uncertainty comes in. There hasn't been a lot of action or communication. And so you're wondering if something is possible. Bottom of the deck is wicked stepsister, jealousy, drama, interference. Yes, there's something here that I feel is keeping someone dormant, right? Someone cannot take action or cannot um, move forward. There's something here that's keeping you apart. And, you know, I feel that a lot of the uncertainty comes from this soulmate energy here. 
if we are soulmates, like I believe we are, why isn't something happening? It's kind of what I'm getting. When is our divine, in, you know, when is our destined union going to happen? When is divine intervention going to help? Tell me more about Scorpio. Spirit, tell me more about Scorpio's energy. Everything reminds me of you. Maybe you have access to this person's social media, old photos. Think about this person a lot, Scorpio. Your mind wanders back to them. Past connection, yes, at the bottom of the deck here. You are thinking about a past person. You are not together with this person, whoever this is. Let's look at this person. Spirit, tell me more about this other individual that Scorpio is, has, or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about this other individual? What do we need to know about this other individual that Scorpio is, has, or will be dealing with? Wow, they have the Empress. Someone with a lot of value, a lot of worth. The Three of Swords came out. And what's this over here? Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, this person, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing that they want to reach out with an offer here to you, Scorpio. They, they want to make an offer to the person that they value, that they hold dear. Someone that... I, this person finds you very attractive. I'm getting a lot of like attraction here, but they're in pain. They're devastated, heartbroken because I feel like they, they cannot deliver here. They can't make this offer to you. Bottom of the deck is the four of cups and the queen of cups. Yes. I feel like in their mind, like they would love to make you an offer. Hold on. But something is keeping them from the person they love. I mean, I, I just get this message that they're not happy where they're at and they're thinking of the person they care about if they are with someone else they're not happy there tell me more about this individual that scorpio is has or will be dealing with spirit i'm using all of my own oracle decks today if you want to check them out they're linked in the description box i sell them on my Etsy shop. Spirit, can we get some insight, please, on this person that Scorpio is, has, or will be dealing with? What's their energy towards Scorpio? Labyrinth, confusion, uncertainty, complexity. Yes, they're very far from where they want to be. Yeah, because look at this. Pot of gold is at the bottom of the deck. So it's almost like they're trying to reach this pot of gold, but they're stuck in this labyrinth. They are, you know, dealing with complex issues that I feel, I don't know, it's, it's like they feel very far from what, they're, what they truly want or where they want to be. And I don't see, I don't really see action here. I see that you're both thinking about each other. But I don't see action here. And instead I see uncertainty you know pain goals aspirations wanting to you know have this ace of pentacles this higher font energy tell me about this other person dreams you know but feeling like time is running out mistakes okay so this person could have could be dealing with a situation where They've made a mistake and are now stuck in a labyrinth, right? Could also be that they feel like they made a mistake with you in the past. Yeah, thinking of you at the bottom of the deck. So they're thinking about you, Scorpio. Whoever this is, are th are, they're thinking about you and you're also thinking about them. You're, everything reminds you of them. And I feel it's the same, you know, the same case with them, this other person. I want to just clarify this ace of pentacles can i get one more please for this ace of pentacles what do we need to know about this offer what do we need to know about this offer ten of swords okay so there has to be an exchange there's the ten of um the six of pentacles at the bottom of the okay <laughs> the six of pentacles is at the bottom of the deck so you know one every time i see something like this a ten of swords or ten of wands with an ace, I think one must give way to the other. 
this person has to end something in their life in order to have this opportunity. You know, it's an it's an even exchange. So again, I don't really see action here, Scorpio. I feel like you're both trying to figure this out, processing how you feel at this time. That could change in the future. There could definitely be action in the future. But I think what's going on right now is that you're both thinking about why you cannot be together. That's what's going on right now. And maybe this is going to be set, setting you guys up for you know, a future where one of you decides to act, right? Because right now I just don't see that. I see you both kind of thinking of the other, dreaming of the other, wanting to be with each other. But I don't see um, action on either side here. Tell me more about this devil. And then I will wrap this up. Spirit, tell me more about the devil. Why is the devil here for Scorpio? Why is the devil here for Scorpio? What do we need to know? Yeah, the Eight of Swords. So someone's literally stuck somewhere. That's, that's the issue. And you know it, Scorpio. You're aware of this, that someone is stuck, imprisoned, feeling like they can't get out of a situation. You're both aware of this problem, but I don't see action right now. And it could be that Spirit will step in here with the Wheel of Fortune and the Six of Cups, but Spirit works in their own time, right? So their timing is not always our timing. So we, we have to keep that in mind. So that's what I have for you, Scorpio. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you and I will see you hopefully in another reading very soon. Take care.